So Chris Eubank Jr. will be fighting Tom Doran on the undercard of Joshua Brazil tomorrow night. And most of you have probably seen this press conference already, the one I'm going to talk about, and seen the incident that I'm going to refer to. If you haven't, then click the link in the description and you can go watch the press conference and you'll understand what I'm talking about here. But basically, Chris Eubank Sr. and who's obviously the father and, uh, I guess, manager or mentor, whatever you want to call him, to his son, Chris Eubank Jr., had a verbal altercation with Dave Coldwell, who's the trainer of Tom Doran, at his press conference. And it was pretty amusing. I found it pretty amusing anyway. And to be honest with you, I can't believe that a trainer... And I think he also manages fighters as well. Correct me if I'm wrong. Maybe I am wrong about that. But certainly a trainer as experienced as Dave Caldwell because he's pretty experienced now. I'm amazed that he fell for the mind games that Chris Eubank Sr. was clearly trying to play on him and his fighter. I was absolutely amazed by that. It's so obvious that Eubank Sr. was playing mind games there. He brought up Dave Caldwell's record as a professional. Dave Caldwell didn't have a good record as a pro. He only ever won an area title. And he tried to use that to plant a seed of doubt in Tom Doran's mind by saying, look, I'm somebody that's won multiple uh, world title fights and I've got all this type of experience. So you've got, Dave Caldwell in your corner, who was a very, very low level professional. You've not only lost this fight in terms of not being as gifted as my son, but also the advice you're going to get and the training you're going to get from uh, Dave Caldwell is nowhere near up to the level of what I'm providing my son because I was a far superior fighter to Dave Caldwell. That's what Chris Eubank Sr. was trying to do. He was trying to plant seeds of doubt in Tom Doran's head. And at the same time, he was probably trying to upset Dave Caldwell because, you know, if you've got discontent and upset within a team, you can take advantage of it if you know what you're doing. And Eubank Sr. played it to perfection. Dave Caldwell bit. I can't believe. I was shocked that he bit like that. He really should know better. Eubank Sr. has made no secret of the fact that he enjoys winding people up. He enjoys playing the villain. Even when he was a fighter, he would enjoy getting under people's skin. And that's how he won a lot of his fights, by winding his opponents up and getting them to hate him. That's how, in my opinion, one of the reasons why Eubank Jr. was able to defeat Nick Blackwell, apart from the fact that he's more talented, it was also because he successfully, I mean, he didn't seem even seem to have to try that hard, but he successfully got under Nick Blackwell's skin and Nick Blackwell came out like a bull, you know, a bull looking at a red flag, just charging without thinking about what he was doing. I've said this before, I have to reiterate it. You cannot beat the Eubanks with anger. They love anger, as you can see from this tweet. They thrive on anger. They thrive on your hatred. You have to play it cool when it comes to the Eubanks. That's how you get under their skin, by playing it cool, by not biting, by not rising to the bait. Yeah, play it cool, man. (laughs) You have to outthink these people. You can't beat them with getting all angry and vexed. You can't do it that way. They love that. They thrive off that. They'll use that against you. So Dave Caldwell really should have known better. And as far as what Eubank Sr. said about Conor Ben, uh, because he made some remarks about Conor Ben and he said that uh, Nigel Ben should be mentoring Conor Ben the same way that he is mentoring his son, Chris Jr. Some people see it as kind of a underhanded remark and an unnecessary thing for Chris Eubank Sr. to say. But in fact, to be fair to him, he was only responding basically to what Nigel Ben had already said about him. 
because leading up to Connor Ben's pro debut, Nigel Ben had been on AFL and a bunch of these other, uh, you know, YouTube channels doing interviews, and he was talking about Chris Eubank Senior in a lot of the interviews, saying that Chris Eubank Senior is overshadowing his son's career and he should take a step back. So he was actually the first one to start talking about somebody else's son, in this case, Eubank, uh, Eubank Senior's son, Junior. So obviously, Senior has seen that and said, you know what, Nigel? You should be doing the same thing that I'm doing, actually. And yeah, he did talk about, in this press conference, uh, the fact that Nigel Ben uh, had issues with drugs during his professional boxing career, but this is nothing that Nigel Ben hasn't already admitted himself. He did an autobiography where he talked about all this type of stuff. So it's not like Eubank Sr. was bringing up anything that Nigel Ben hasn't already talked about and put in the public domain. He was just saying that he's worried about uh, Connor Ben going down the same path, falling in with the wrong crowd because he don't have his dad around to to steer him away from that kind of stuff that he needs somebody there to mentor him. This is what Chris Eubank Sr. was saying. So it was kind of a response to Nigel Ben. That's what I feel it was anyway, because Nigel Ben had already talked about uh, Eubank Sr.'s role in uh, Eubank Jr.'s life. And maybe Eubank Sr. didn't like that, so he felt like he had to respond and critique the way Nigel's handling things. And the proof is in the pudding at the end of the day. How successful the sons are will, you know, it, it remains to be seen, but we'll see whether Connor Ben stays on the straight and narrow and we'll see whether this overbearing relationship that Chris Senior seems to have with his son actually proves to be beneficial in the long run or uh, not beneficial, you know? We'll have to wait and find out. So, yeah, that's just my take on it, people. Some some uh, subscribers had asked me to comment on this. They wanted to know what I thought about it. So those are my thoughts. I think it's just mind games in terms of the Dave Caldwell situation. And with the Nigel Ben, Connor Ben situation, I think it was just retaliation in a way, you know, in, in, in Eubank's own type of style. You know, he don't come out aggressively or anything like that. He tries to do it in a, <laughs> in his words, in an effervescent type of way. In, in a light-hearted and uh, what have you type of uh, type of style. So yeah, those are my thoughts on the situation, people. Drop your thoughts in the comment section below and let me know how you feel. All right, it's your boy Hatman, I'm out.